please. I'm dying. Uh. Please fart in my face. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> so the younger brother says, all right. No problem. Let me eat some dead dog beans. I, I got you here. And he says, here you go. Get ready. Speaking slowly so you can understand. Just a couple of teachers just doing a thing. Speaking slowly so you can understand. Just a couple of teachers just doing a thing. Alright, Ben. So we're doing a video for this episode as well. We are. I'm gonna fix my hair. I was just thinking I look I look too red on the video. Can you turn the red down a little bit? I can try. Can you? Can you I make can try to do some kind of filter maybe? Yeah, can make you make you look a little bit less red. Filter out the red. Yeah. Mm. But mm -hmm. there's gonna be a video, so we need to do some kind of crazy face right for the cover art of the video sure i was the last time we did a surprised face right right mm. shocked face oh my god yeah so what emotion should we have this time uh i don't know you know what are strong emotions there's uh there's shock anger uh mm, anger might not be good yeah it might scare people away yeah. How about we do a face like we're laughing as hard as we've ever laughed before? Okay, ready? Yeah, okay. Right. One, two, three. Silly idea. There's probably a good photo in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, Ben, I want to get right down to business. Okay. No fucking around. No. No, no. fucking around. Nope. Uh, because I have uh, an interesting suggestion. Okay. From uh, an international listener. Ooh, from across the sea. Yep. Mm. Not that far, though. No? Yep. Coming okay. from Taiwan. Ah, keep it within Asia. Yes, mm -hmm. within Asia, an yep. anonymous Taiwanese listener. Oh, okay. Listen to our fairy tales episode. Remember, we both had really stupid fairy tales. Dumb, dumb, dumb. From our countries. Yeah, they were both stupid. They were both really bad. Yeah. Yeah. No real message in there. So she was so nice as to send me a stupid Taiwanese fairy tale. Oh, okay. I, I like this. I like the stupid ones. <laughs> yeah, they're funny. So I've taken some notes about the fairy tale. Okay. Uh, so you're going to recount this fairy tale. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to tell you the fairy tale. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let me get into fairy tale mode. <laughs> All right. All right, hold on. Here we go. Oops. Here we go. Fairy tale mode. The innocent mind Many of a child. Years ago. In ancient Taiwan. Ancient Taiwan? There were two brothers. Okay, I'm following so far. Okay. The older brother mm -hmm. was a total dick. The younger brothers are usually the dicks. It's my experience, anyway. Sorry, Toby. Because you're the <laughs> older brother? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Mm. The older brother was a, a real jerk. Oh, very God. selfish and greedy. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a nice guy at all. But the younger brother, yeah, just like Toby, Hang on. was very honest. True. And hardworking. Yeah, that is, that is my brother. Okay. Mm. Anyway... Older brother, dickhead. Dickhead. Younger brother, good guy. Nice guy. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. their parents passed away. Okay. So they're all alone in the world. Yep. yep. And the older brother 
tricked the younger brother, getting almost all of the inheritance. All of the money and property left behind. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I get this, I get this, I get this. Dick move. And there was only one small field mm -hmm. and one ox. Okay, one farming animal. Yeah, mm. ox. It's like a big, strong cow. They're so big. Kind of. Yeah, big and strong. They got big horns. And they're used to plow or till the land. Fields. Yeah, they pull that sort of machine behind them. Yeah. They? Yeah. Right. Whoosh, faster, ox. So the older brother says, oh, 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 yeah, there's one ox left, but uh, we should decide who gets the ox. 50-50. Yeah. Chop so it in half. I'll pull on the ox's nose. Oh. And you pull on the ox's tail. Right. Right before they started pulling, yeah. the older brother's bitch wife. Oh, God. He's got a bitch wife, too. Yeah. She's also a bad person. Oh, okay. She poked the ox so that the ox moved forward. So maybe she poked it in the ass or something? Something like that. Put a bitch finger in the ox's ass? Something like that. <laughs> and the ox went, mm! <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Anyway, the older brother took the ox and the, the younger brother had nothing but this one field and no animals to help him till it. A raw deal. Terrible deal. Terrible deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Luckily, mm -hmm. a neighbor saw this mm -hmm. and felt bad for the younger brother. Oh, a kind-hearted neighbor. A kind-hearted neighbor mm. gave the brother a chicken. Okay, so now he's got a field and a chicken. Yes. Okay, that's better than nothing. And the next day, he went to a wedding party. Right. And a dog ate the chicken. Well, I mean, why would you take the chicken to the wedding party? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Asking I, for trouble. I guess he was very proud of, of his chicken. Why would a dog be there? What are these animals at the wedding? It's old times, Ben. Is that? Yeah. I don't know. You had, you had to invite the animals of the village. <laughs> Maybe it was a dog wedding. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Cute. So the dog ate his chicken and he started crying. Oh, God. Crying? Really? Yeah. He's the younger brother. Harden up. They cry. You they, know that. Yeah, they do cry. Yeah. We all <laughs> anyway. cry. Anyway, the host of the wedding mm -hmm. didn't want the younger brother to spoil the mood. Yeah, you're bringing down... The, first you bring your chicken, and now the dog's eaten it, and now you're crying. Yeah. This is my fucking wedding. So the host of the wedding said, okay, stop crying. Here, you can have the dog. All right. And he thought, oh, okay. I got a dog now. Yeah. You got the chicken back too, you know, technically. Inside of the dog. <laughs> it's in the dog. Yeah. I guess so. Right. So now he's got a field and a dog. Nice. A dog's better than a chicken, if and you ask thinks, me. Oh, man. I got to try to till this field with a dog. Better than a chicken. So a person... Uh, who is selling rice, a rice merchant. Oh, a rice merchant. Yeah. yeah. Saw right. him trying to till the field with a dog. So this dog's trying to pull this heavy plow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the rice merchant said, what are you doing? Idiot. Yeah. He mm. said, I don't have any choice. I don't have an ox. And the rice merchant said, you know, this is crazy. I tell you what, if you can get that dog to plow that field, I'll give you all the rice I have. Wow. This guy really wanted to watch a dog <laughs> plow a field. Yeah. <laughs> so the younger brother took a dog treat. Right. And kind of tricked the dog. He threw it in front of the dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. The dog was like... <laughs> All right. And, you know, used all his strength and was able to plow the field. Okay. So he used the treats as a, as a motivation yeah. for the dog. 
And the younger brother got all this rice from the rice merchant. Wow, things are looking up. Getting better, right? Getting better. Life is strange. Up But and down. Hmm. the asshole older brother. Ah,、oh, here we go. Saw this, and he borrowed the dog. Why would you lend it to him? Yeah. He's a dick. We know. We've、But、seen that's that. That's the thing. The younger brothers are really nice guy. Yeah, and you know, younger brothers always look up to the older one through thick and thin. And the older brother took the dog and found a cloth merchant. Right, somebody who sells cloth to make clothing, bed sheets. Yes. Yeah. And he made a bet with the cloth merchant. Complicated story.、There's、a lot of characters here. Stick with me. I'm, I'm still with、Stick、you. With I'm with you. <laughs> Stay with me, Ben. Okay. Yeah. And he made a bet with the cloth merchant.、Oh, gambling. Lots of gambling in ancient yes, Taiwan. <laughs> old times, people made a lot of bets. Yeah. He said, "Hey, I bet I can make this dog plow this field. I'll bet you all your cloth." Okay. All right. So. The cloth merchant said, "Okay," and the older brother tried to do the same trick using little doggy snacks, using the dog treat. Okay, not this time.、Mm-mm. The dog had learned his lesson. Good boy. Good boy. He refused to pl- to plow the field, to till the field. Oh, okay. So he wasn't going to fall for the same trick again. Exactly. But.、Mm-hmm. The older brother got angry and beat the dog to death. Who、oh, I hate this guy. I know. I he's, hate this guy. He's a terrible guy. First he fucked over his brother with the inheritance. Yep. Yep. And now he couldn't let his brother have any kind of success. And now he's killed his dog. He's a he's killing animals for no reason. Well, yeah. Out of spite. Out of spite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How do you explain spite? Well, just to make the other person feel bad. Yeah, for no good reason,、mm. just to get revenge. Yeah, that's all.、It's、out of spite. Horrible. Anyway, the younger brother again was very, very sad. Yeah, I bet. And he cried and cried as he buried his dog. My, oh God, this is a roller coaster of emotions, right? Hmm. But. After he buried his dog, yeah. Not long after that, some beans grew out of the ground, like in the from the dog's grave. From the dog's grave. Oh, dead dog beans. Dead dog、oh, beans. I don't like that. I wouldn't eat those. Well, he ate them. Did he? Yeah, the younger brother ate these dead dog beans. All right. And <laughs> right after he ate these beans, yeah. He started to fart really loudly. Well, that's what they say about beans. Yes, beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the, the more, more you, you toot. toot. Yeah. Okay. I never, I never really、But、believed they're not that. They're a fruit. They're not a fruit. Number one, and I don't think they really have that effect. They have that reputation. They do. Yeah. If you eat beans, you're going to fart a lot. I used to eat beans every day for breakfast, and I didn't really fart any more than anybody else. Okay, in Japan they say it's potatoes that make you fart. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. anyway, I guess Taiwan is same as America, where we believe that beans make you fart. There must be some truth to it. Now he had these big loud farts. Okay, and they smelled really good. Mm mm mm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> he got kind of famous. For having these loud and beautiful smelling farts. I, okay, all right. And、uh, the the lord in the area,、mm-hmm. kind of like the the master, the king, kind of like、mm. the local king kind yeah, of guy, the、yeah. lord, was really interested. Bring him to me. Yeah, and he said, if if you fart and it smells good.、Mm-hmm. I'll give you twenty silver bars. Man, people love giving shit away in <laughs> ancient Taiwan. But if it smells bad,、mm. I'm gonna beat you twenty times with this stick. 
Hmm. Well, I mean, until now, all the farts have smelled nice. So, yeah, I'll take that bet. Yeah. Yeah, why not? He says, okay, Lord, Hmm. my Lord, here you go. Here we go. And the Lord went. Oh. Mm. Very nice. That's a very nice. <laughs> what, a, what a nice fart. Oh, that's a dead dog of fart. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so good. Oh, make me so happy. Oh, this fart is, uh, smells so oh, good. Why don't you stay a while? <laughs> anyway, the fart smelled great. The Lord loved the fart and gave him 20 silver bars. Things are looking up again. And now what happens? He's ben? bouncing back. What happens when his brother finds out? (sighs) His brother... Can you guess? Yeah, his brother wants to get in on the action. He wants to get in on it. Yeah. He wants to get some of that sweet, sweet silver. He wants to eat some dead dog beans. He wants to get nice smelling farts. And he wants to get some of that that sweet Lord gold. Silver. 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 Exactly. Yeah. So the older brother goes and steals the dead dog beans. How low can you go? What a what a jerk. What a this dick. Guy. I hate this guy. And he goes to the Lord and he mm. says, oh, I've got great farts too. Mm. And the Lord says, okay, same deal. I love smelling nice farts. Yeah, it's a fetish <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> so, so go ahead, uh, you know, 20 silver bars or... 20 beats with the stick. Okay, brother pulls down his pants. The Lord places his nose between his butt cheeks. Yep. And the older brother... There Let's, have Let's have it. Let's have it. Bro. <coughs> Come here, you son of a gun. No, no. Lord, please. Quap, 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 quap. 20 ah. times. He beats the brother 20 times. Good. Good. Finally. He got what he deserved. I'm glad. Yes. He's a piece of shit, isn't he? He is. Mm. I hate this guy. Yeah, real P.O.S. A piece of shit. Piece of shit. P.O.S. So anyway, the younger brother uh, continues to become more and more famous. With his farts. And people realize that his farts not only smell good. Right. But they can cure illnesses oh, okay they got some sort of healing properties yeah 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 some healing power nice nice so a rich guy calls him over to his house okay says, please i'm dying uh. please fart in my face quick <laughs> <laughs> so the younger brother says all right no problem eat some dead dog beans i, oh, I got you and he says here you go get ready <laughs> And the old man, the old rich man goes, <laughs> My legs, oh, oh, they're working. I'm young again. <laughs> My heart, it's beating strong. Yes, I feel like I'm 25. Yoo-hoo! And he opened the door and danced into town. Yeah. And then the old man said, I, I thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Would you like to marry my daughter? Ooh. Well, depends. Let's see her first. Well, I think in the old times, marrying someone with like... Like a higher status. Yeah, who's wealthier. Yeah. Is like the way to... Well, we literally say to marry up. Marry up. Yeah. Yeah. Level up. So this poor younger brother guy, now he is married to this rich... Oh, woman. Now he's he's in the nobility, and the upper he's class. Successful. Wow. And it's all thanks to his dead dog farts. Uh the end. The end. Oh, the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a happy ending for him. Fucking weird story. <laughs> Very weird story. Very weird story. But I, you know, I think this fairy tale has more meaning than the ones we yeah. told. Yeah. Yeah. I think this fairy tale was much better than our fairy tales. There's a few messages in here. 
Mm. I think there's two main messages in here. Lesson or a message? Yeah, it's two lessons here. Be nice. Number one, be nice. You know, jealousy, envy um, will get you nowhere. And number two, perhaps, perseverance pays off. Perseverance? Yeah. The younger brother didn't give up. He persevered. He kept trying. He yep. kept positive. He kept positive PMA. He kept that PMA. I guess that's <laughs> did the lesson. That's the lesson, yeah. Don't give up, even when your older brother is trying to bring you down. Yes, don't yep. give up. He, he, had, he cried, but he wiped away his tears. And the tears helped... Grow the grow the dead, dead dog, dog beans. Yeah, yeah. And gave them great farts. It's the circle of life. All right, Ben. We better move on because that was very nice. Hmm. We've got a question. Funk. Funk it up. If you've got a question. you ask just ask Kennedy. it's me and you and we here this comes from anonymous a okay in uh ibaraki prefecture and you know a long time ago we did some uh would you rather questions we did so now she wants us to answer some who is more likely to question. Oh, interesting. Okay. So if you play this game in like a party with many people, yeah, then you would say, who is most likely to? Oh, I've never. Oh, at, in school, it was a class activity. I remember that. Right. Who's most likely to be successful? Right. And mm. everyone says, oh, it must be Robert. He, he's a very hardworking guy. Yeah. He's going to be successful. And you vote. Mm. To see, like, who everyone thinks is the most likely person to be successful or, or whatever. Who's the most likely to end up in jail, you know? Or to go to jail. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. Ben for sure. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely Ben. Definitely. And yeah. then, <laughs> but it's just you and me. Sure. So I guess the question will be changed to who is more likely yes. between you and me. Okay. Sure. Simple comparative. All right. So she sent me a long list of options. Okay. All right. Interesting. I've chosen a few. Let's get into it. So first one. Here we go. Who is more likely to lock themselves out of their own house? Easy. That's you. That's me? Yeah. Well, you... I feel like, you know, I'm not, I'm not perfect, but... You, uh, I think you lose things more than me. Do I? Maybe. Well, Ben, mm. it's funny you should say that because yes. this reminded me of an old episode. Okay. About one time. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> when you lost your keys. <laughs> yes. And you had to sleep in your car. I did. After failing. To climb up onto your balcony. Yeah, and actually, I damaged the building. You damaged the building. Trying to drunkenly climb up onto my balcony. And you ended up sleeping in your car. I did, yeah. Because you locked yourself mm -hmm. out of your own house. And I woke up with a back problem, a neck problem, and I took uh, medicine, and I had strange dreams living under the sea. That's right. <laughs> So yeah. are you sure you still think I'm more likely to well, I, lock myself out of my own house? I've done it countless times in my life. Well, then you're more likely. Well, how many times have you done it? I don't know, seven? Countless. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When you lose count, you, I think we're, let's say we are equally likely to lock ourselves out of the house. Is that well, an option? I would... I don't, we, neither of us remember how many times we've done it. Yeah. But you were the last person to do it. Sure, sure. So I can say that I'm cured. Uh, yeah. Okay. It doesn't happen to me anymore. It doesn't. Uh, well, it will never happen to me either because now I keep a spare key 
in a lockbox. Ah, damn. To open my troublesome front door, which you experienced when you fed my dog. Yes, your front door is mm. complicated. It's a bitch. Okay, so, I, all right, I'll take it. I'll take right. the bullet. No, you're right. If you have a spare key hidden mm -hmm. so that even if you lose your keys, you can still get in your house. Yep. Then I'll admit I'm more likely yeah. to lock myself out of my own house. Just, yeah, I mean, statistically, the likelihood is That's higher. That's a great idea. I'm going to get a spare key too. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You need a spare key. And when I was a kid, we had a spare key mm -hmm. hidden. We called it the idiot key. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Because, like, the idiot forgets their keys. Oh, I see. Go, go yeah. I got to use the idiot key. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, next one. <laughs> Who is more likely to laugh in a serious situation? Hmm. Uh, during an important business meeting, uh, at a funeral. Yeah. I don't know, you know. Laugh in an inappropriate situation at a bad time. Yeah, yeah, when nobody else is laughing. Yeah. Very uncomfortable. Yeah. Have, does that ever happen to you? Um, yeah, it does because um, I have a, I think, a, I don't know how other people think, but I have a weird imagination and I often imagine just weird things. Yeah. Uh, maybe a few weeks, a few months ago during a wedding, uh -huh. It was a very serious moment. Uh -huh. uh, the families were, you know, coming together, ceremony. Nobody was laughing. In fact, people were crying. And I thought, the family looks, they look like birds. You know, they got a bird kind of face, kind of a pointy face. Yeah. <laughs> and the other family looked like fish, right? They had big <laughs> fish lips. <laughs> So I thought, oh, this is funny because like the birds are marrying the, the the bird people are marrying the fish people, and then if they have like a kind of a bird fish baby, and I thought that was very funny, mm. and I was kind of biting my lip, but I had a mask on, so that helped. And this is during a wedding ceremony where yep. you're the priest. I'm the priest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you know. You're more likely. You didn't laugh. I did laugh, but I well, I I stifled it. Okay, so maybe we're yeah. both like I stopped it. Yeah, laugh. I bit my lip. Mm. I see nobody really noticed I was laughing. So yeah, yeah. but we both have strange minds. Yes, mm. that's the problem. That is the problem. Thanks for the interesting uh, question. It's an this. interesting one. Yeah, yeah. Like we're that. gonna wrap it up. Okay. Come to fifty five freebird dot com. Yep. Twitter, Instagram, FBE Teacher Talk. Send us your questions. Send us your comments. Concerns. And leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or a five-star review on Spotify. Yeah, comments too on Spotify now. Uh, yeah, that's that right. right. That's right. I've Ooh. opened up comments so you can comment on the episodes. Let's Is have that them. how you listen to podcasts? Always. On Spotify? Always on Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. yeah always. I use both Apple and Spotify. I like the sleep timer because I always fall asleep before I finish the episode. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you listen to 10 episodes during the night while you sleep. <laughs> All right, Ben, let's wrap it up. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Have a great week. <laughs>